tough series. Obviously, it's a, a, a very good team and uh, an incredible game seven. So, uh, um, a lot of respect for those guys. A lot of respect for uh, uh, how kind of had them at certain points. They continue to fight and make some unbelievable shots, unbelievable plays, and uh, um, how we had it. It's early. This is fresh, but have you? Is this the last that you played in the NBA, or you, you know, have you put any thought into coming back? What you think about uh, Chris Paul's performance tonight and the, and the shot he made? It was unbelievable. He was, he was, he was incredible all around. Uh, just an amazing competitor. I know he was a little hurt. I know he was playing a little hurt. And he played through all that, found ways to get it done. I mean, uh, it's just an unbelievable last shot over, uh, over two of us. Um, it's just a great leader. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it, was, it, was, it was amazing to watch. I'm sure it wasn't on the other end. And, and apologize to the Laker point, but Pop did say, especially from a money standpoint, he couldn't see you. and. Manu and himself coming back, not coming back next season. Would you agree with that? Well, what's the question? <laughs> Would you agree with Pop's statement that he expects you and Manu and himself to be back next season? If that's what he said, that's what he said. I don't, I don't, I'm not making any statements, that's all. Um, I don't know. Uh, when I came back, you know, Blake just kept asking me if I was all right. And uh, I thought about our team and all the things we've been through. And, I know that if it was any other guy on our team, you know, in a situation like this, they wouldn't lay down, you know, so just try to find a way. Um, I don't really know what to say, to be honest. There's not really a word, not really a, a good word that comes to mind. Uh, it was unbelievable. Um, to be injured like that, when he came back, I was like, man. I asked him, I was like, How, like can you, what, can, what can you do? Can you do anything? He was like, uh, we'll see. And so, uh, and, um, I mean, the way he played, I mean, not only the way he played, just like the spirit and the resolve. Um, I mean, you guys saw the shots, but you don't see the, in the timeouts and the huddles, things like that. So, uh, it was huge. I don't really have a word to describe it to be Chris, they've been the team to beat in the last year entire career. Um, what, what's it like to beat that team like that? Does that make it even more special that it was this first? Um, man, I, I couldn't sleep last night. Uh, uh, my son had a game at 9.45 this morning. I went to that game. And, uh, he was telling me on the way home that I had to win tonight. And, uh, you know, it just, you know, those guys right there are legends. You know, seriously, Pop, Tim, Tony, the, Manu and like we've been saying all series, they're not going to beat themselves. <clears throat> Down the stretch, uh, we, our team has a thing that we say without saying is don't let go of the rope. So anytime we could have let go of the rope and just been like, it's these guys, we fought hard and we could have just conceded. But, um, you know, we kept fighting and guys made plays and all the Chris, I wanted to ask you about uh, your emotion after the game was over. Yeah, but a bunch of different people saying hi to a bunch of people. And then running out and getting to the owner. Uh, just what was going through Yeah, uh, the first person I went to was Billy, <coughs> Billy Crystal. Uh, uh, me and Billy actually have gotten really close uh, since I got here. Um, he's a guy who I know really well now and has been a season ticket holder through and through. And so to see him, um, you know, it meant a lot. And then I went and seen, obviously, my brother. You know, that's my ace, my, my role dog. And, he the guy who, when I'm missing shots, is on the baseline talking junk to me. So, uh, so finally, um, you know, it's only round one, but that team over there, I mean, that's it's crazy that that was the first round of uh, 